index match is confusing, the let function is confusing, but what happens if we combine these two confusing functions in Excel? Is it going to make magic or is it just going to confuse us more? There's only one way to find out. Let's jump into Excel and figure it out for ourselves. We have here a truncated sales commission table and what we want to figure out is what the effective commission rate would be at the intersection of this specific role and product using this little reference table up here. Now, if we were using a tool like simplify.io, we would not have to do any of these calculations in Excel. It would do all of the calculations for us and it would store it in a sensical way where you have your plans, your plan documents, you can produce commission statements, but that's not what we're doing today. Today we're doing this in Excel and so let's take a look. In order to do this, this is a two-dimensional lookup, so index match is a perfect candidate for a combination of functions to help us figure this out. And the way that it works is first off, you need an array that you're indexing, and that is this rates section here. And then in order to get the row number, we wanna use a match to say wherever the role name matches from this little list here, that's the row that we wanna retrieve. And then for the column, wherever this product matches from this little product list, that's the column we want to retrieve. So at the intersection of those things is our answer, and you hit enter, and there you go. You got all your results. You save this, you celebrate, you close your file, you come back a week from now, a month from now, open this back up and look, and you think, what on earth have I done? This doesn't make sense. That's the problem with index matches. The syntax doesn't necessarily make sense when you don't have that context fresh in your mind. Introducing the let function. Now, the let function can be confusing because it's it's a very different type of syntax where you declare aliases up front, but you do that for things that don't necessarily make a lot of sense. You're providing that context. So in this case, I wanna come out the gates and say this array, those are our rates. This value here, this is our role, and then our role list is this table here. Our product is this guy right here, and then our product list are these two right here. Now if we go back and do our index match function, we can use this easier to follow syntax from our aliases to say, all right, our array is this rates range, and then the row is gonna be the match of the role from our role list exactly, and then the column will be the product from our product list exactly. You hit enter, you get your result, they all match, it all makes sense. You close this, you come back in a month, you look at this and you say, oh, that's right. I remember how I did this because I used the let function and it makes a lot of sense. That's my theory. But I want you to let me know in the comments, am I right? Did this make more sense to you? I'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching.